Hi guys, welcome to another video of Holy Outdoor. In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top five VHF marine radios for offshore fishing, and we discuss all their key features and what things to consider before you pick the best one for you. Price information and all radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. You can also find a more detailed analysis and reviews of the nine best VHF marine radios on our website, holyoutdoor.com. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. Let's get started. Number five, Standard Horizon GX 18. 50W. GX1850 VHF radio replaces the Explorer series models GX1600 and GX1700 from Standard Horizons lineup, although to be clear the difference between these models is largely cosmetic. The new radio has better guts, updated software, and updated looks to match our contemporary style. Although the style upgrade is the highlight, the radio continues with the stellar reputation of its predecessors. It's also well placed compared to its competition, the GX2400 and the ICOM M330G. Standard Horizon GX1850G is compact, and yet its dot matrix display is big enough to show a variety of information. Now that we've discussed the design, let's talk about the features. The radio is available in a couple of variants. Most commonly, there's the GX1850G or the GX1850GPS. This simply denotes that the VHF Marine Radio has a built-in GPS. The other variant doesn't have a built-in GPS and must rely entirely on external input, although you can still use external GPS with the 1850. Redundancy is a good thing. For better voice quality, the microphone has noise cancelling technology. Interestingly, there isn't a speaker on the microphone, so communication can feel a bit off. Another weird aspect is its NMIA capability. The radio has connectivity with NMIA 0183, and though it claims compatibility with NMIA 2000, that part doesn't quite work well. Other than this little issue, the radio works pretty well and remains easy to operate for the average user. Overall, Standard Horizon GX1850G is a powerful yet simple to use VHF marine radio. It features make it a suitable choice for offshore fishing. However, if other gadgets on your boat, like GPS or MFD, work with NMIA 2000, it might be better to look for a radio with better compatibility. To sum up what we like is the robust IPX8 waterproofing, the backlight for screen and keypad, second station compatible, the compact size, good voice quality, and noise cancelling microphone. On the downside, confusing setup with NMIA 2000 and NMIA 0183, and there is no speaker on the mic. Our ratings for transmit power are 9 out of 10, for value for money, 9 out of 10, functionality, 8.5 out of 10, waterproofing, 10 out of 10, for an overall value of 9.15 out of 10. Number 4. ICOM M330G31 with GPS When fishing offshore, you want a dependable and easy-to-use radio. ICOM M330G31 fits squarely into that space. This marine radio is compact, with dimensions of 6.2x2.6x4.3 by by inches, width, height, depth, so it won't take up precious space while mounting. Since it is a fixed mount unit, it has access to a 25-watt transmitter. This allows the radio to have more reliable communications, which is beneficial when you're offshore. Backlight for the dot matrix LCD and the keypad means you can easily use the radio in low light conditions. ICOM M330G is a successor to the M323G. Functionally, both models are nearly identical, though there are a few changes. M330G is more compact and has smaller dimensions. Also, the mic speaker has a dedicated button for channel 16, and ICOM's M330G's display includes a quick note on the description of the channel it's currently on. On the downside, though, the older M323G has a built-in GPS and M3 30G relies on an external puck antenna for GPS. The interface has a simplified look through the use of soft keys and a directional keypad. This also includes a single knob handling volume, squelch, and power. In my opinion, that's a mixed bag. It can feel counterintuitive to handle the volume and squelch while working a single knob. Other conventional features include access to the NOAA weather channels and a dedicated digital selective calling DSC switch for distress signals. The radio is IPX7 waterproof, thus it's capable of handling streams of water or being submerged. This is more than adequate for any radio, and more so for a fixed mount. One feature I find especially interesting is the aquaquake draining function. Using this feature sets off low-frequency sound waves near the speaker area. These waves can clear out water or moisture trapped in the speakers. Overall, the ICOM M330G offers reliable and remarkable features in an attractive, easy-to-use package, and it's great especially for beginners. However, its GPS antenna has been designed for use with boats with steel or aluminum tops. If that's not your boat, you might be better off picking a unit with built-in GPS. 
The somewhat what we like is the GPS receiver and external puck antenna for better accuracy, the backlight for screen and keypad, the good 25 watt transmitting power, the compact size, and the IPX7 waterproofing. On the downside, squelch and volume control are placed on a single knob, which can be confusing. It lacks man overboard function and it needs additional setup and antenna for GPS. Our rating for transmit power is 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. Functionality, 9 out of 10. Waterproofing, 10 out of 10 for an overall rating of 9.15 out of 10. Number 3. Unidin UM385 If a low-cost, no-frills fixed mount radio floats your boat, take a look at the Unidin UM385. This radio replaces a very similar model from the company, the Unidin UM380. Not much has changed between the two models except that the UM385 gets a more contemporary look and has more compact dimensions. To be precise, the height and depth have reduced, while the width has increased, so the new model is more compact, if only ever so slightly. None of that is of much importance to this radio. All said and done, the biggest strength of this model is its low cost and the fact that it comes from a decent brand. The domain of the low-cost fixed-mount marine radios is pretty much in the hands of Uniden. The only viable competition to the value proposition for the UM380 would be the Uniden UM435. Although the low price is an important asset for this VHF marine radio, Uniden UM385 is a fairly decent radio and a good one for offshore fishing. It is capable of handling all major aspects of functionality and usage. For low transmit power, it starts at 1 watt, though if you need more juice, the power will go to 25 watts. Just be sure you've got the right antenna. You'll also need an external input or GPS receiver. And MIA 0183 compatibility makes it possible to connect or interface other devices with this radio. Other notable features include NOAA weather scanning and alerts. A flashlight and emergency strobe light are built into the radio to deal with emergencies. One troubling aspect of the Uniden UM385 VHF marine radio is the waterproofing or lack thereof. With a rating of IPX4, the device can handle a little splash of water or maybe a drizzle. Depending on where they're installed, fixed mount marine radios may not be at a big risk of getting drenched. Yet, there's always the risk of humidity, accidents, and several other factors when the boat is offshore. Better waterproofing is definitely desirable. Overall, Uniden UM385 is a decent, low-priced VHF marine radio that can work well with offshore fishing. The low cost also affects available features. The radio will need an external GPS receiver. There's no AIS, and the waterproofing leaves something to be desired. To sum up what we like is the excellent price point. It's simple to use, the good voice quality, the compact size, and the backlight for screen and keypad. On the downside, it's only water resistant, not waterproof, and there is no automatic scanning for channels. Our rating for transmit power is 9 out of 10. Value for money is 10 out of 10. Functionality, 8 out of 10. Waterproofing, 7 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. Raymarine E70493, Ray91. Many people still call Raymarine by the Raytheon name, even though it's been nearly two decades since Raytheon sold the brand. What hasn't changed in all this time is the quality and industry-leading innovation by the brand. Raymarine Ray91 Marine Radio is a good example of this approach. The radio comes packed with commercial-grade electronics that tout better performance and longevity. All of that is packed in a solid aluminum casing that makes the unit resistant to shock and vibrations, while also providing superior heat dissipation. Raymarine Ray91 is meant for use as an overhead unit. For that setup, it skips the display on the radio and instead includes a small screen on the handset. Simple buttons included on the handset make normal operations easy to handle. Since the handsets hold control, they can monitor channels, send distress signals, and control the general operation of the marine radio. Meanwhile, the radio hides out of sight and saves space. This setup, while interesting, isn't exactly novel. Raymarine's top competition, and perhaps better known brand, Garmin 2 has competing options available. Garmin VHF315 Marine Radio offers a similar setup at a lower price. The major difference between these two models is the build quality. Garmin's radio is packed in a conventional casing, which appears inexpensive as compared to Raymarine's aluminum body. One aspect where Raymarine shines over its competition is the ease of integration of various offerings from the brand. While the Ray91 will integrate with most compatible displays, it works like a charm with Raymarine's Axiom display. Easy compatibility and setup make things easier for those more serious about offshore fishing. Convenient connectivity with systems like sonar, display, chart plotter, fish finder, radar, and VHF marine radio makes the offshore fishing experience a whole lot easier. Raymarine's connectivity shows up admirably well in the Ray91 as well. It is possible to build upon this system to cover a large ship. The basic set includes a transceiver, a passive speaker, and the handset. You can set it up to be a multi-station intercom with wired or wireless connectivity, though additional accessories will need purchasing. 
Ray 91 can support a speaker station and up to three wireless handsets. Each handset uses an induction-based DC charger to save space and for added convenience. Many of the features of this radio depend on additional accessories. While the radio can receive AIS, it needs a multifunction display, MFD, to show the information. It has an onboard GPS, but it works best with the GA150 passive GPS antenna. The built-in loud hailer and fog signal generator work better with the optional hailing horn. With such a focus on networking and connectivity, it's only natural that Ray 91 be compatible with NMEA 2000 and NMEA 0183. Overall, Raymarine Ray 91 offers commercial-grade electronics and build quality to recreational buyers. If you want a high-quality setup with good networking and compatibility, this radio is a great choice. However, its price tag and additional accessories might make you think twice. To sum up what we like is the excellent integration with other electronics, especially Raymarine Axiom line. The high quality build with unit housed in a solid aluminum box. The compact size. It's compatible with NMEA 2000 and NMEA 0183. The IPX7 waterproofing. It's clear, good quality audio. And it's second station compatible. On the downside, there is no screen on the fixed mount radio. It lacks GPS and the full accessories and setup can get very expensive. Our rating for transmit power is 10 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Functionality, 9.5 out of 10. Waterproofing, 10 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. Number 1. Standard Horizon VHF GX2400B the Standard Horizon has an impressive offering in the form of the GX2400. Its well-placed features and price tag make it our editor's choice as the best VHF radio for offshore fishing. It's geared towards the recreational fishing segment and has just the right mix of features to be useful without going overboard on the pricing. It's a compact fixed mount unit and takes very little space, yet it sports a fairly large display with plenty of room for information. Large buttons flank the display and provide easy operation. The appearance is similar to other comparable models from the brand, including the GX2200 and GX2000. On that note, I should point out that the standard Horizon GX2400 replaces the GX2200, which, though an otherwise excellent unit, had some problems. Many GX2200 users complained about the trouble with managing alarms on the VHF radio. That problem has been fixed on the GX2400. It also gets the option to go wireless with a second station and RAM 4 units. The radio has room for wired connectors for this purpose. However, going wireless will require an additional purchase of the SCU-30 Wi-Fi module. Whether you use a second station or a standalone unit, the voice quality remains impressive. It uses active noise cancellation technology to reduce background noises like engine noise and the sea. Even if the person transmitting doesn't have the best unit, or it's noisy there, you'll be able to get fairly good audio. But modern marine radios do more than just transmit and receive audio. We need it to work with other gadgets on board as well. Playing with other equipment on board comes easy for the GX2400 since it's NMEA 2000 and 0183 compatible. Being compatible with both standards gives it a wider range of use. The compatibility comes in handy in practical settings too. Hook up this marine radio with a chart plotter and its AIS function, receive only, can display information on the larger screen. The AIS, an automatic MMSI number input feature, makes the waters safer. If another boat gets uncomfortably close, the user can quickly contact them through the automatic MMSI input. To keep communication convenient, the GX2400 transmits at a 1 watt power. If you need more, shift to 25 watt power for a longer range. The antenna will play a key role here and you need one that worked with both VHF and AIS. Other features include a 30 watt loud hailer with pre-programmed fog signals. Even with the hailer in use, the marine radio will continue to listen to one channel of your choice. It can listen to NOAA weather channels and weather alerts. Also, it's rated IPX8 waterproof, so it's fairly well protected against the elements. On top of that, it has a built-in GPS, and in case the radio is mounted below deck or needs a more accurate signal, it can connect to an antenna. Overall, Standard Horizon GX2400 is a feature-rich and well-priced VHF marine radio. It checks most requirements for offshore fishing, but its setup will require a learning curve. This may not be the first choice for beginners. To sum up what we'd like is the built-in 66-channel GPS receiver, the backlight for screen and keypad, it's a compact radio, the IPX8 waterproofing, it's compatible with NMEA 2000 and NMEA 0183, and active noise cancellation for transmitting and receiving, and it's second station compatible. On the downside, it has a learning curve for those unfamiliar with this VHF marine radio. Users must separately buy an antenna compatible with VHF and AIS, no splitters, and the full setup and integration can get complicated. Our rating for transmit power is 9 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. Functionality, 9 out of 10. And waterproofing, 
10 out of 10, or an overall rating of 9.25 out of 10. So what do you think? Which of these five is the best marine radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.